Hey guys and welcome to a new game I'm going to show you today, it's called Herald. Now this one is actually in Kickstarter at the moment um, and it looks pretty promising. So you guys know that I like adventure games and this is a point and click so let's just get into it because I'm excited. So please continue your story Devon. Devon, is it Devon or Devon? You told me that it was when I bought the Herald, you were looking for a item, that was too fast. Tell me what happened next, what does your journal say? Okay, so here's my journal, I'm guessing. There is a gun missing aboard the Herald. The boatswain has asked me to find the thief before the captain does. If he finds out, we'll all be in trouble. Why will we all be in trouble, huh? It's now my fault. Oh, I guess it would all, yes. We'd all be in trouble. One of the crew members told me that the officer Brunswick hides a spare key somewhere near his cabin. My investigations have led me to the cabin of First Officer Rupert Brunswick. I should sneak in while he is running his shift. I was told by the boatswain that the captain has forbidden all crew members to bear arms, even officers. Well, guess what? I'm bearing my arms. We all need an encyclopedia. The Herald. Wow. Obviously, I haven't learned much yet. Oh, so here's what they look like. Forecastle poop deck. <laughs> poop deck. So, as you can see, the graphics are pretty awesome. Okay, well, let's see. What's in here? The closet was closed. I wondered what skeletons it was hiding. What's this? It was a peculiar place for a sink. I suspect it didn't fit in the officers' cabins. God forbid that the officers have to use the same one as the rest of us. What is he doing? The barrels were filled with rum. I wouldn't be surprised if these were placed on a special request. I can poke everything, that's amazing. The pitcher contained a spare key to Officer Brunwick's cabin. I was now able to open the door behind me. Nice. Good. So we got the key. He's really like, you know... Oh, let's little flick of dirt, let's just get it off. He don't like dirt. Maybe I should just go through that door. Ah, let's go for it. This might be, I, maybe. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm guessing this is the place. This is Brunswick, or whatever his name is. Oh, here we go. So it is actually his, his, his cabin. Uh, let's see. A beautiful brass sextant was sitting on Brunswick's writing slope. I recalled a teacher telling me how this complex device works. I had no idea. On the writing slope lay a detailed map of the African coast, the sea full of lines, markings and notes I didn't understand. He's got a pocket compass. <laughs> I wondered if Brunwick's moral compass was as trustworthy as the one on his desk. Not sure. Not sure, I can't tell you. I got the certain urge to write something obscene in one of Brunswick's books, but realised that this was an incredibly stupid idea. Sounds about right. <laughs> Looking through the Merchant Navy's handbook, I discovered that officers are usually allowed to carry guns, but other members of the crew aren't. So here we have the handbook. Let's see. If you guys wanted to uh, pause and read this, then go ahead. Is there anything else here? Uh, let's see, what's this? So we have a letter here saying, It seemed that the captain had a discussion with Officer Brunswick about gun policy. The letter also talked about a draft coming from the bookcase in Brunick's room. Let's see if I can see this, read this handwriting. So it says, Dear Brunswick, I was pleased to hear that you agree with me that the official guidelines regarding gun policy are outdated. Thus, I have decided to reserve the use of firearms for emergencies only. On a side note, you might have noticed a draft coming from the bookcase in your room. There is a loose plank there that needs to be fixed. Until then, it should not be much of a problem if you put a couple of books against it. Yours sincerely, Cornelius Henry. We have books here. What is these books? A small collection of astronomy books. Trade Brunwick's fascination with the celestial bodies. Maybe this was the secret to his success as a navigator. There were books about navigation, geography, geography. I can never say that word. 
geography. Mathematics and poetry. None of them looked very interesting to me. I cannot read for... So is there anything else here? No, there is not. So we go back and we can look around. Oh, there we go. Oh! A painting of the night sky was hanging on the wall. The use of colours was striking. It is a pretty picture. One of the paintings on Bruce Wick's wall was a depiction of the Battle of Ski... Ski... Sivning? Sivning? The final battle of... Oh, he can't say it! Okay, Sevening. The final battle of the Anglo-Dutch War. I'm glad I'm not the only one having problems with their words today. <laughs> ah, nice picture. One of the paintings depicted three white boys playing with a ball on a sunlit square. How nice. Oh, that's a nice picture of somebody looking very happy. On the top shelf stood a portrait of a stone looking man. I later learned it was Brunwick's mother. <laughs> looking man. <laughs> I later learned it was Brunwick's mother. <laughs> that is a lovely stone looking man. Okay, books. A loose board was cleverly hidden behind a couple of books. Let's see what's in this little loose bit. Behind the loose wall board was a cleverly hidden compartment containing a single booklet. It seemed to be Brunswick Journal. Luck in his journal. We have to look. We have to pry. While going through Brunswick's journal, I stumbled upon a passage about a hole in the wall that was covered with a painting. Okay, so let's see. He does not have more sense of authority for his qualities as a sailor and officer are obvious. Monday, April 6th, 1857. I had all but forgotten about that hole in the wall, rediscovering it only when I wanted to move a painting. Naturally, that means the painting has to stay where it is, even if it does look better on the opposite wall. I have decided against informing Ludlow about the hole as to not raise unnecessary discomfort. Um, can't read any more down here by the looks of it. Uh, of course, as Captain Henrik so often emphasised, he is responsible to know of all that takes place aboard his ship. On the other hand, it does not feel right to betray a fellow officer for something that, by my judgement, does not endanger the functioning of the crew or ship in any way. Meanwhile, is it Jan? Or is it Ian? <laughs> is doing wonderfully. His comprehension of navigational principles growing by the day. Today brought us a, now I'm gonna say da 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 because I can't read any more of that unfortunately guys, but there we go. What's these books? The entire bookcase was devoted to poetry. Among them were some of the famous works by Shakespeare, Byron and Poe. I was surprised to find Brunwick's spyglass in here. You'd think a navigator would take that with him at all times. That's true. It's very true. So which one do you think it is, guys? The painting seemed to have been moved recently. Behind it was a small gap between the planks. I knew it was the middle one. It's always the middle one, isn't it? Oh. He's got the gun! It's him! He's got the gun! He looks strangely like me. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Is there someone spying on me? Um, I apologise to Ludlow. I didn't really know what to say. I accused Ludlow of stealing the gun. What should we say? Um, I don't know what to say. Dot dot dot. I know you are there, Brunswick. I can hear you breathe through the wall. How did he know it was me? Oh, wait. He knows... No, he thinks it's Brunswick. Have you done this before? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> because I... Well, um... Should I accuse him of stealing the gun? You stole my gun! You stole the gun! Steven! What are you doing in there? Are you snooping around? I didn't expect you to be that kind of person. I told Lulu I was searching for a missing gun. Let's see that one. No, I'm looking for, the mi for a missing gun and I think I just found it. Come into my cabin, I'll unlock the door for you. Okay, well. I'm not sure I want to do this because he has a gun. Let's hope that he's not going to use it on me. Or else this could be very dire. Before you start, please listen to me. I know it's against the captain's rules and all, but some rules are to be broken. I asked if he was alright. Are you willing to explain to me what's wrong? You seem troubled. I'm fine, don't worry. I wasn't secretly plotting to go on a killing spree tonight, but you never know. I might change my mind. You better not change your mind. May I ask why you locked yourself in your cabin with a gun? I hope you were not trying to. I'm not suicidal. It's just... It's just not fair, Devon. I know 
the Merchant Navy handbook from cover to cover, it says clearly that every officer is allowed to bear arms. Every officer. I'm an officer, so why don't I get to exercise my rights aboard the Herald? I asked Lulo why the gun wasn't so important to him. Why is it? Why is the right to carry a gun so important to you? Forget the damn gun, Devon. It's not about that. I just want the captain to know that if Brunswick gives up his rights, it doesn't automatically mean I'll give up mine as well. For some reason, I am always expected to do as the white man does. I never trust to make my own decision. Sometimes I feel like I'm an officer with in nothing but name. I tell, I tell him to return the gun because that's the right thing to do. You won't achieve any recognition by breaking the captain's rules. If an officer wants respect, he has to deserve it. I won't tell anyone you took the gun, but only if you return it to the weapons cache. If you do, then do it now, before the shift changes and everyone wakes up. Too late! <laughs> Cornelius Hendricks. So that's him. I like his little curl in the middle of his head. I'm afraid it's too late for that. Uh oh. That's not good. Ooh. I was born in the East. Adopted and raised in the West. I almost had his accent right. In a home away from home. Proud citizen of the Protectorate. When I decided to search for my roots, I knew things would change. Things did change. regret my choice? Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Do I regret boarding the Herald? No. Well, that's pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting that actually. That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool actually. I... I think it's very promising and I can't wait to play more. So I'll leave a link down below to their Kickstarter so you can check them out. And if you like what you see, why not support them? And I'll see you in the next episode. So until then, stay awesome. Yeah.